Hey guys, Steve here with another Go tutorial. Um, this time I want to talk about structs. So a struct is basically just a collection of fields. Um, you can think of a struct kind of like a plain old Java object. In, in Java it's just an object with some properties on it and those properties have different types, whatever. So um, to declare a struct we just need to use the type keyword and we give the struct a name. So I'm going to call it my struct and we're going to tell it that it's a struct basically and open our card, cardy braces and then inside here then we define our um, our fields. So now I have a struct declared called my struct which, which has two fields x and y and they're both integers. Now if you Remember back to our uh, video on variables um, and the way we can define variables. You know, having x int and y int, we can we can shorten this a bit and just have you know x comma y int. That's exactly the same. It's just a shorter syntax to declare those two um, integer variables within or integer fields within the struct. Right, so that's one nice way to do it. Um, then, if you want to, you know, to use that struct, then you need to kind of create instances of the struct, more or less. Um, <clears throat> so if we say, you know, we can create my struct here, and we open some curl or curly braces, and what what we basically need to pull in the curly braces are the values of the fields that that we want. So in order, so x is first, y is second, so I'm going to give x the value of 1 and y the value of 2. And if I save that and run it, we can see that it prints out the, um, the value of the struct itself. Now, individual uh, fields within the struct can be can be referenced using the dot notation. So say I create my struct uh, like so, just like creating any other variable, uh, one comma two, and then if I just wanted to print out the value of y, I just uh, use my, my, my field that I've declared as a struct, uh, dot and choose y and that should just print out the value of y from the struct. Let's run that and you can see we just get 2 back. Um, likewise we can we can use the dot notation to set values so if we do s dot x equals 4 and then let's say I do s dot I'll print out x.x and s.y and run this again. You can see that I now have the values of 4 and 2. So you can set values this way and you can pull them out this way using the dot notation. Um, then lastly, uh, to talk about, um, actually second from last, we can we can create a pointer from a struct as well. So if we create a pointer here, uh, just like in our in our last ep, ep, episode, we have a struct in field s. So if we use ampersand s, that means this pointer, this p field is now a pointer that points to the memory space of my struct. So I can actually do p dot x and p dot y here. And I should get the same result. Um, and then lastly, um, when you're creating different um, structs, um, you don't have to uh, declare every single value of every field. Um, you can either, you know, you can choose which fields you want to set, or you can set none, or you can set them all, or you can do do, do whatever. So let's have a look at. At, uh, how we did how we do that so let's get rid of this here so we'll create one struct here so this is the first the first way of doing it where I have 
you know, set all the values for all the fields and they are in order. So X is first, Y is second. So X gets one, Y gets two. Um, second way I can do it is if I create another struct here, I can actually decide which value I want to set. So I can say X comma or colon, you know, four, some, something like that. So what that does is it sets the value of x to 4 and then the, the, the y value just then gets set to its 0 val value, which obviously b being an integer would be 0. Um, I can also declare a blank struct. So I can just do this. Now both of the values inside the struct are set to their 0 value, so both 0. Um, then I can also declare a pointer directly, uh, like so. If I do ampersand my struct four and four, say. So that 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 declares a pointer with with a type of. Um, it won't be type my struct it would be like a, a pointer to the to uh, my struct so it's going to point at the mem memory space where that uh, where those values are then if i just you know just to ju ju just to show how these are all um, declared i'll just print them all out and run this Undefined P. I forgot the colon. Right? And there we go. So we can see that you know our first struct was constructed with the values of one and two. Second one we just set x to four. Uh, third one we just set no value, so they both got zero. And the fourth one, you can see that it has the ampersand in front of it, so that means it's a pointer to the memory space where this actual underlying value is stored. Uh, that's it for structs. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these tutorials and like this video. Thanks for watching.